All right, what's up, my friends? We're going off the deep end. Whoosh, splash. We're playing a, a version of my Jund deck that I played at SCG Indianapolis last weekend. But I didn't really like the Rekindling Phoenixes or the Dragons a ton. Phoenix died a lot. Phoenix was especially bad on day two. I felt like it just literally died to a Lava Coil or a Contempt every time. And it was just bad. Um, and it's funny because someone in my the comments of my videos was like, why don't you start playing Hydroid Crisis? They're already splashing in colors anyway, you know? And then Dan had the same idea. Dan Jessup, my, my, uh, my friend and, t and uh, former teammate. So yeah, let's do it. Like, we're already playing kind of a long game mid-range deck. We already can make lots of colors of mana. Splashing blue isn't that hard. Just seven lands plus maps. We're playing one lantern. One Miser's Lantern. It's a late game card anyway. The deck wants to gain life and stabilize. The deck wants a threat that is not just killable with one spell. Let's do it. Captain Lannery Storm was in Dan's version of a deck. I think that card kind of just sucks. I think War Boss is really important for beating like the the control decks and fog decks in game one. I think this card's also just pretty good. So we're playing one War Boss. Um Deck is absurdly wild. We're playing all the red dual lands for the most part. Uh, one overgrown tomb gets the, gets the slot as the extra black source and the extra green source. Um, and yes, it is maniacal. I totally agree, Ross. And Cyborg's got Cinder Vines and Disdainful Stroke and Duress and Fountains and all sorts of stuff. Pretty wild. Um, for those who are unfamiliar with the deck, uh, it's focused around Goblin Chain Whirler and the card Status, one half of Status Statue. Chain Blower comes into play, you give it Death Touch, kills all your opponent's creatures. Pretty simple, right? And then the fact that Statue is also a reasonable card is pretty cool as well. I played this deck to uh, 31st place in the open without blue, which is just Jund. You can see videos about that on CoolStuffInc.com, as well as a deck tech on the actual Star City site. And uh, now we're getting crazier. The Fountains are your plan against Mono Red. All you have to do is kill all their creatures and make sure they don't stick a Frenzy and they can't win anymore because they can't burn you out with a fountain in blood. Fountain just ensures you don't get burned out. Post-board games of Mono Red comes to do a lot of uh, just like board out creatures have spells and you just deal with their spells and then kill their frenzy and you win. So, let's do it. Traditional Constructed. Crisis Chain Whirler. Wouldn't I have rather have a mix of Moment of Craving? No, I think stacking up on the, the Fountains is important. Like, you, you want Fountain. You don't want a kill spell that gains a little bit of life. You want a slow bleed of life as the game goes on. Because you just want to make it so the game gets further and further out of reach. And uh, every Lava Spike looks terrible. So, yeah, you brought up the War, war Boss in that matchup, yes. Well, that's a hand. I'll leave that one on the screen, on the screen for a second for everyone to... Uh, Take in. Good. Let's keep. Alright. Um. Also, our maps make different colors, too, so. Right, well, we're going to test that theory, maybe. Left over hibachi here from John's uh, Holy crap, dude. celebration. Ooh, okay. All the coils looking nice. Give me I didn't say bad, I said awesome. And I remuted the mic so I couldn't even talk it. God damn it. I said I stopped to, to, to mute the mic so I could eat and I didn't hit my stop for the treasure map. And then I had the mic still muted. There needs to be a permanent stop option. 
Like, if I have a map and play, I want to stop my upkeep every damn time. All right? Every damn time. Should not be an option. Just do it. God damn it. That is not a loud enough command, Lord Draken. It needs to have bells and whistles on it. I really like Eldestreborn a lot. Just gonna throw that one out there. Like a lot. Will you do spell pierce me? I swear I'll pay. Alright, sure, whatever. Like, it's not ideal to lose two treasures, but it's fine. We'll do it. Next rank in Crisis. They discard they discarded a Niv Mizzet too. <gasps> Mark Light Phoenix, sure. Lord Dragon, that's much better. <laughs> Now the question is, do we play this Overgrown Tomb untapped to have status up for niv -Mizzet? Yeah, I think we do. Is it even good? I don't know. It seems cool. I'll just do it. I'm stupid. I, I don't know why I thought that. Whatever. It worked out. Die is home. Die is home. Just a close game magic, you know? Alright, um...
What do we want here? Angrath's not very good in this matchup. Um, Angrath runs into the problem of uh, if they dive down my Angrath, it's a disaster. Um, I like the rest in this matchup a lot, actually. Uh, the shocks are really bad. Shivan fires are also pretty bad, honestly. They can kill some things, but they aren't great. Uh, Stroke's not very good. Karn's fine. It's not great, but... Now, when I record, when I record for YouTube, I can't have music on. Otherwise, I get copyright struck. So, if there's no music, it means I'm recording for YouTube. Which means if you miss some of the episode, you can go watch it on YouTube. Um, this is a match where Dire Fleet Daredevil was good. I obviously don't have access to that one right now. I guess Shiv and Fire can stay in some capacity. Deshambled Stroke's like okay, but not great. Cinder Vines is also not great. Also bringing in maps. If I, if I, if I knew they were bringing in map, I would bring in Cinder Vine, but I don't know that yet. I'm gonna bring in a Karn too. The, sh the Shiv and Fire is so bad. Arnold Palmer. Need that sponsorship. Yeah, status plus Nimbus, it does seem decent. Don't, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. The thought crossed my mind to try and get Nimbus in this deck, but it seems a little, that's a little too far. You know, a little too far. This is great. Cindervides is more for the disenchant than the uh, the damage part. The damage part is good against the fog decks and the control decks also, but what's more for what's more as a a good disenchant. Cut black and play. You can't play Nimbizit and play all red sources in your deck for Chain Roller. Playing Nimbizit and Chain Roller doesn't really work. Alright, so they're tanking. Benelish Marshall, also a little hard to cast. So we could upkeep Scry here. This is kind of a weird, like, what are they doing? Why do they pause for so long? What are they waiting for? Kind of thing. I do like the idea of being able to play Land Lantern and then map, but if they counter it, it's pretty annoying. I don't know what counters they'd be playing, honestly. Probably have Negate in their deck. Play War Boss, they might shock it. I'm just gonna take the play the long game here. It's pretty good. I don't think I want to cast it yet though. Maybe it just inform it informs you of their hand. Like if they negate it, they're gonna negate it, they're gonna negate it, you know? I'm gonna wait. I'm not gonna cast it yet. Crow Chamber Guardian seems really, really hard to cast. Yeah, John seems good. I gotta work on it more. This is an interesting, an interesting take on it, for sure. Don't know what my opponent's doing, but. I'm gonna eat some more hibachi. Ah, oh, that worked. All right, up you scry. Oh, I want to land really bad here. That's a land. It's a really awkward land, but it's a land. Then you get this now. I don't really care. Bell Pierce, sure. That's fine. Very happy with our next turn now.
bacon. Bacon, 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 bacon. It's bacon. All right. I mean, their hand blows. <laughs> like, they just keep not casting this discovery. All right. I mean, they can bacon bolt all they want. So I could cast a war boss here. That would make them just lava coil it. I would have one leftover token. That wastes the treasure, though. And treasure are very valuable right now. Um, I'm just going to wait. Let's play a big crisis next turn. I didn't do it. It's kind of weird. So, like, we draw Karn. We could cast Krasis and blow our load off of our our treasures. Um, well, they discarded this. They discarded a, a Bacon Bolt. We could blow our load. We could just play Karn. And, like, start draw. It just draws more lands. If they draw a negate exactly, it's bad. But I think I like playing Karn here. We're not making a 4-4 because we're going to use these treasures for stuff. We're trying to draw cards, make more land drops. They drew a negate. That's the worst case scenario, of course. But I think it's fine. And then I'm going to draw a card. Try to make a land drop here. Them drawing a gate was the literal worst case scenario because their hands are removal spells, so playing Karn over a creature feels better, but what are you going to do? Crasis is really, really good. Like, pretty happy to rev for three there. And they just, like, have to deal with the 6-6 six, six also. But like, that's, that's the worst part, you know? We don't have an answer to niv Mizzet yet. So, I think that maybe I shouldn't have uh, bottomed that stature. But, Cinder Barons is dope. Bacon Bolt Ahoy. I think it being a cast trigger is actually egregious, but I also like playing counter spells, so what can I say? Alright, it's a little awkward, can't cast it right now, it's fun. Um we have plenty of stuff to do here. Lava coil, lava coil, opt spell pierce. I mean, let me just take opt. Red Kepler and Resub, what's up? Also, Titan, new sub, what's your name, where are you from? Welcome, my friend, sorry I missed your, uh, missed your sub. Appreciate it. You subbing? 
Yeah, you all great. It's Blover Lava Coils, their hand's terrible. We'll draw a blue source and win this game. MJ Doom, new sub. What's your name? Where you from? Welcome, my friend. Blue source. All I want is a blue source. This creature must attack if able. Mark Light Phoenix, sure. Come on. Thanks, Doom. Appreciate that. Titan, new sub, Jeff from Indianapolis. Saw you play a few games. You throw down goblin tokens with authority. Jeff, those goblin tokens have been around the world like seven times. I've been using those tokens for over a decade. They've been in like five or six different countries. They've been everywhere. Those tokens get around, all right? Still no blue source. No reason to play Whirler. I'll just hold on to it. They have like Bacon Bolt and stuff, like whatever, just wait. Don't judge my tokens, Tannen. Hello. Uh, three, six, eight. Oh, I think my hand speaks for itself. Oh, no, they conceded. Okay. I mean, if he kills Krasis, who cares? I drew a bunch of cards, you know? The good part about Krasis is drawing cards, not the big dumb creature it leaves behind. I want to fish my Abachi here. This is the celebration of Abachi. Those who don't know, John, my my uh, eight-year-old, he won his hockey championship. He's, he's in like a four-team, you know, kids hockey league, and they won their championship on Monday. So he went out uh, went out that night to celebrate with some Abachi. This is the leftovers. Yeah, sounds good. Map plus shocks plus lands. This is usually where you want to be. I suppose the status combo is good too. In phase of growth spiral. Okay. I mean, this is probably a war boss matchup, so there's a question if we're going to scry in our upkeep or not. Might just need to get lucky and draw land for war boss. Their team's name, I think they're the Blue Jackets. Just like the Blue Jackets, the Flyers, the Bruins, and the whatever, you know? Gift of Paradise? Yeah, I, we're, we need to just draw a card here and draw a land for war boss. That's our best chance to win the game, so we're not going to scry. We didn't do it. Now we're probably just going to lose. I mean, obviously we're playing against a tough Fog deck. Our combo does nothing. Chain Lord does nothing. Shock does nothing. So, what are you going to do, you know? Yeah, John plays Magic. John has a red-green deck. With, with Gigantosaurus in it. And Charging Monster Store. And Savage Twister. Uh, again, I'm going to try and draw land. Again, we draw Lava Coil. Good lord. All right. Well, Fall of Thran. Fall of Thran is cute. I don't think I want to shock them. I think Lava Coil is actually just dead. I'd rather them not know about this and maybe play differently if the game gets to that point and maybe die to it. Okay. Blazing sound. Don't tempt me. Don't tempt me.
Huh. Arena also really needs an F6 button. Like, I hit the auto pass button, it still gives me priority. I'm freaking done. Leave me alone. Don't talk to me. You know? Oh, this report. Awesome. We're probably going to lose this game. And none of our cards matter. You know, like, War Boss is good, but aside from that, our cards don't really do anything. Uh. Alright, well. You know, any, any deck that's that the Chain Whirler combo doesn't matter too much against is a little hard, but... Statue can kill an enchantment, yes. Or no, my focus is killing them. They have a Wrath. Probably gonna lose, but... Once we sideboard, we have, like, dresses and disdainful strokes and all sorts of stuff, so. Tannen, please don't get banned for magic before the tournament. We have 29 cards left. And there are 25. I mean, we could pretty safely go to the next game here, but I guess I'll keep playing. Oh, thank God. Now, I don't have any charges to play anymore, so it just happens automatically. Oh, yeah, it's much better. I try to concede, but I can't. It, w it won't let me do it until the animation's finished. <sighs> Hydro Graces and Angrath. That's right. It's a match made in heaven. Alright, well now we have a bunch more interaction, so we have three four colors worth of interaction. <laughs> yeah, Max are they were taking a bunch of turns there too. The the card that killed us drew them seven cards. Those seven cards were going to beat us. We didn't lose to the enchantments. Frankly, we would have just lost if they didn't have the enchantments. We just had other stuff. We lost to the Nexus of Fate and the card draw and the 
Wilderness, wilderness Reclamation, not the not the actual mill. Splash white for life gain. Splash every color for everything. Alright, we're gonna play lantern on three, so we're not gonna not gonna screw it. Lantern on three plus map, and then upkeep scry on four. Stomping ground can go to the bottom. Upkeep. No, we're gonna Angrath now. I just slam Angrath. Angrath, metal! Maybe I actually wanted that land. You're no fire. No oh, yeah. Card, settle the wreckage. What, you just want to scry because you want to get counters in your map. God, I hit the button, you stupid arena. You saw me hit it. They got, they got to fix that bug, all right? If you hit the thing during an animation, it doesn't count. It just doesn't do it. Get him, Angrath. No fire, no steel. All right. Um. All right. Let's um. I kind of like Karn make a token. We don't need to kill this search for Escanti yet. I mean, it is a bug, because it happens to everybody, and it's really, really annoying. Like, you know? That's not great. As long as they can't do anything... Yeah, they can't, they, they can't do anything crazy this turn. Not about that card this game. It's bad design. If you want to say it's not a bug, it's just bad design, that's fine too. Alright, upkeep. This turn we want to cast status and make treasures and make things and attack. So let's. Draw. That was a good draw. No fire, no steel. Okay, then I have seven cards in the graveyard. Reclamation, insight in the graveyard. Do we kill search for Escanta or Reclamation? Definitely making a construct. We attack for six this turn. Or do I kill neither and just play map? No, it's gotta kill something. Um, best back for the RPTQ? I don't, I'm not sure. Jim love the content. Keep up the good work. Alright. Let's get in. Let me kill search, I agree. They do have a an insight, but not much else, so... Boop. 
better, better. Well, this is Nexus if they have it, but they don't have anywhere to go with the Nexus, so it's not even that bad. Alright, so you have a Nexus, now what? You put an Explorer. Go on. Like they don't have anything yet. That that's that was a very that was a very good draw. Now they're working towards something because they're actually drawing cards. Can't cast Nexus though. Oh, I just punted. No steel. I could have killed them. I mean, if they have settled, it's bad, but I could have... Uh, no, I can't. Never mind. I thought I could make a token give it haste, but I, I can't yet, because it's not... We can't make tokens, so... What's up, Trudon? Alright, well, probably getting the land here. Oh, at 12? They were, they, were, they were at 14 last turn. Okay, never mind. We're good. Will I play some Affinity? I'm going to play Legacy Affinity at some point, some, somewhat soon. Um, I have a list on my desktop, it's been sitting there for a while. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. They shocked? They did shock. Alright, that was a pretty cool game. Our disruption paid off pretty well. Definitely not a Hydroid Crisis game, but Karn and Grath put in some work. Chromatic Lantern was actually pretty good that game, honestly. Cinder Vines is great. Hey folks, tuning in, welcome to the stream. My name is Thor. I mean, Angrath. I mean, Jim. And uh, we're playing some standard on an arena here. Playing lots of fun decks today. If you missed any of them, they'll be on YouTube. Check that out. Make sure you follow the channel here on Twitch. Make sure you follow on YouTube. We're watching on there. And um, Mjolnir. And, uh, yeah, follow me on Twitter. Check out bcwsupplies.com. BCW Supplies, number one source for all your online gaming needs when it comes to sleeves and supplies. Uh, BCW Supplies, new line coming out. The new Deck Art Elite 2 sleeves are out. I gotta update my graphic because they're fantastic. They're really, really good. The Elite Deck Arts were great. The new Elite 2s are even better. 100 packs, a little bit taller. They have the blackout, so they're all opaque no matter what color it is. They shuffle great, come in matte front or gloss front. Super awesome sleeves. Check it out, bcw.com, bcwsupplies.com. Gym 10 for 10% off your order. You can also get awesome deck boxes and deck lockers and uh, and uh, binders as well. Those are new too, the stitching on them is really cool. So check it out. Yeah, uh, this is a bad hand. This is game three against these folks. We can't keep this hand. They mulligan to six, we're gonna mulligan also. Sample hand of the week? Don't mind if I do. I don't know if duress is there. Fix it. There, there it is. Nope. Can you stop. Stop. Thank you. Hand of the week. There it is. Hand of the week. That plays. It's not the shuffler, it's just shuffling, it's just a random assortment of magic cards. It, it's shuffled, that's what it does. Eldest are born, I don't know if they're playing Teferi or not. Welcome aboard. But, I don't want this, I want this black man, that's fine. It's all about war boss, honestly. We have four duress in our deck too, so the black man is pretty important. The suspense, not oh, great. That sucks. Been a fan since the ban approach days. Keep the cool decks coming. Thunderbird Jack! It'd be my pleasure, my friend. Thanks for re uh, resubbing. I appreciate that. Two months in a row. Oh my god, they're playing Syncopate in their deck? 
What the hell? Who plays Syncopate in their Bant Nexus deck? Who are these people? Go back to your shanties. What is going on? Were they a Nexus deck before? Alright. Playing as Eldritch Reborn. Yep, yes, I still do modern sometimes. It just, there's, there's a lot of standard happening right now. It's a new format. My next few events are standard. It's going to be a lot of standard for the next few weeks. Oh my god. Come on. Mjolnir is angry. They discarded a Nexus of Fate? Ugh. Uh, insight to God, unbelievable. Mjolnir's going away. Mjolnir's angry. <sighs> All right. Did your duress is great. Duress is right on time. Be worse. <laughs> Brand is search Nexus Nexus Hollow Fountain. This actually isn't that bad because they're gonna flash back their card draw thing, but without a card like Search to keep drawing cards, or ne their Nexus of Fates aren't even that good. So... There's a chance. There's a chance you win this game. They discard Foul Fountain to Insight, they draw two cards, and if there's some sort of card draw engine in those two cards, we're probably gonna lose. But they could brick here. What happened to their hand? Why is their... Why did their hand go back to being hidden? Oh, they discarded a Nexus? This is unreal. And they literally just draw the one card we made of discard, too? This is unreal. Why even play discard spells? I hate discard spells. They always draw the card. They have their Nexus, don't they? So I could buy back the Stample Stroke here. What are they doing? Why didn't they cast Nexus again? Alright, let's attack. Probably we can't beat this search for Escanta. That's that's the real problem. Like Sinister Sabotage, my duress. I put some two more cards in the graveyard. God. They kept the card on top. I would bin literally anything. Just flip your search. Or my cinder vines? Who knows? What are they doing? I don't understand. I just don't get it. What are they doing? They know we have this. I don't... What are they doing? Alright, 
Maybe we're, maybe we're gonna win this game. I don't even know. I don't think our opponent will be playing any worse. So, whew, that's a pretty good one. All right, we have a. All right, let's just. I mean, they can still win this game. It's it's, it's that's the sick part. But, oh boy, that's really good. Okay. Maybe they'll give us cinder vines and screw up. Crazy's looks really good here. But all that matters is search for us. Yeah, it's literally the only card that matters. Alright. They wised up. Two, four, six, eight. We could cast this for six. We only have one other stroke in our deck, though. It's on five. They can't flip it yet. Alright, this is fine. Just crank this and just hope they don't go nuts. It's a lot of lands. Alright, they bin and they draw. Just don't be a Nexus or any sort of card draw spell. Did I lose yet? What happened? It's my turn? What happened? How did I not lose? They drew seven cards. What's going on? Oh no, I, I could add Cinder Vines. Oh my god, I just threw it away. They have, they have, they have a counter spell for sure. God, that's unreal. Alright, well... I screwed up. They definitely have a counter spell, but... Alright. I just can't... Couldn't even fathom that they would, we would still be in this game. Alright, two, four, five. Kind of a tilt. I just got the cinder vines. All right. Well, they only have to activate this canter three times. So, four times. Okay. How many cards in whose deck? Like 30 each? I mean, I probably threw this game away. I guess maybe if I Cindervined. I can't imagine they didn't have a counter spell, but I should have Cindervined, obviously. I just was playing it up for the stream a little bit.
<sighs> you believe they drew that 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 draw seven? You believe that? Stop making me do things. Just let me F6 in peace, all right? I got my drum set here. I can play little drums. Stop telling me to do things. Stop wanting my input, all right? I'm just trying to sit here and play a little game magic. This thing sucks. I have to work the space bar into my, my jam. Are there still drums when you use your hands? Or are they not bongos? Well, I lost the drumsticks, so... Where are drumsticks? I have pens here. Pens work, right? Oh, revealed card. Alright. I guess we've had enough. Listen. That's the crappiest drum set I've ever seen in my entire life. Alright? I have never seen a crappier drum set than that drum set. Pretty sure Nicole's mom got it for me at like a dollar store. Alright, well that was the least amount of fun I've ever had. My opponent played horrifically bad. And we also played bad, and they won by taking infinite turns. Oh, they, they can keep playing before I space bar? Okay. All right, anyway, let's get back to it. Our deck is sweet. Let's roll. I mostly just forgot that I had Cinder Vines under Karn when I came back. After leaving the room in disgust because they drew a draw seven empty handed when I was going to win a game I shouldn't have won. I mean, are they playing creatures? I'm going to keep. God damn it. Alright, well, it's game one, whatever. Full house. Shocks over uh, lava coils. Ravager worm? This costs double green. It's pretty hard to cast. They're playing the Esper deck. Praise be. Oh, they've got creatures. Glorious creatures. Alleluia. 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 Oh, yeah. Please. More Hero of Precincts 1s, please. That's kind of a tilt. Alright, well, our Karn's dead, but... I have no idea how his matchup is. I mean, their deck plays creatures, our deck's pretty good against creatures. So...
obviously now we have no threats and they know our they know our hands they can play around everything effectively so it's not ideal but The auto racer is too hard to cast. Requires us to draw both of our splash colors on turn two. Eh, I shouldn't have played that. With Crisis in our deck, we're, we're incentivized to want to keep playing our lands, but another Bell Haunt makes it pretty bad. I don't know. That was a really good draw. Exceptional draw. <laughs> touche, Ross, touche. Ah, crap. Never mind. Life is good. I love to sing it as life is good. I'm having lots of fun playing magic. Kill all your shit, it's really tragic. You are gonna die, I mentor. My goblin, I don't know what rhymes with mentor. Never didn't have it, says Ross Merriam. Nothing else rhymes with Merriam. Now you're dead. That's not Angreth. Hmm. That one. Look at this. Look at these people. Just going to three in the face of everything I got. If they want to get in their one Thief of Sanity hit. Stare at. Ross Merriam's Scary Phlegm. Hi, Super Nintendo I mean, they can't hit Chain Whirler and Status, so... I suppose Krasis is good. That would be a good one. They're still dead, though, right? Yeah, they're still dead. Still dead. Don't play Lyra. I'd be really mad if I lose this game. Thief of Sanity is so good. We just play Thief of Sanity in our deck. This is just so stupid. I sang that cool song and everything. Just unreal. They didn't choose Angrath, that's bad for us.
Angrath! Doesn't even do it. This is so stupid. Unbelievable. I'm playing standard in Baltimore. I might just quit Magic after that game, though, so... Ross and Tan, I might need to find some new teammates. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Alright, um... Hmm... Sorry, Tan, I quit. I'm quitting. You see that game? What's this flower doing here? I don't want Karn. I don't want to cut, honestly. I kind of want everything. Like, the removal spells are good. The creatures are good. I think Warboss is good on the play, especially. Um, I have no idea what I'm playing this weekend. Got the Lantern, I guess? I don't know, honestly. Yeah, maps great. Maps are the best cards in the deck. <sighs> Quitting magic. BRB. Stampy grounds. Stampy Grounds. I would love to anger at their thief. Thief is awesome. Oh, my own thieves. 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 They stole it from us. Well, now we can cast our own thief. Not using the original art stomping grounds? Well, it's not available on Arena. I would use it if I could, but I can't, so I won't. Thought Erasure seems pretty good against us. We're usually relying on one or two big cards. Like the last game, if we had that card, we would have won the game easily. But like, all we had was our kill spells and our one payoff card. That's a good card. That card makes you feel better about things. I still like a bell haunt's really good too. All right, that makes my Elder Born worse. This is a pretty obvious counter spell. Um, there's not much I can do. I guess Eldritch Reborn is worse than Angrath, so I will run the Angrath right into the, I mean the Eldritch Reborn right into the counter spell. It's probably just Ample Stroke. Could also be Negate. Yeah. I mean, there's literally no reason to play Chain Whirler for no value at all when they have a Hero of Precinct 1 in play. I mean, this Chain Whirler obviously feels better. We can't Angrath profitably here, so, yeah, it's Chain Whirler. 
Is my take on mumble rap? I don't know, I'm old. Get off my lawn or something. What do I mean to say? Sounds like you don't like mumble rap, you're looking for validation for your opinion. Stage up another counter spell? God. Alright, well, let's attack Dovin. They could have easily gone up on Dovin the following turn. No guarantee they're going down, you know? Moment of craving. Well, that is quite the, the card to play against us in this current scenario. Um... I don't mind statusing. Still kills it. Kills the hero. They may incentivize them to use another spell. We can we resolve Angrath. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I, I don't know much about it. I don't, I don't really know. Mumbling and rapping and stuff. Um, They just have a counter spell here. I'm just not playing Angrath. They don't have a removal spell. They don't have creatures like... Yeah, the proper answer to the question, what are your thoughts on Mumble Rap, is obviously... Right? Just throw away all my opportunities. Can we draw Krasis, please? No, but that's not bad. They have a counter spell, not casting Angrath. They know we have this, they've had this card forever. They haven't been doing much for a while. Gucci gang, 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 Gucci gang. This right here is my swag. Pretty boy sweat. Alright, so. Alright. Death grips are cool. I like death grips. Here's your mortify. They clearly just drew that. Death Grips sounds like what happens when a couple of hobos scream into a trash can, but it works. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a pretty good, a pretty apt description. You're doing me a favor. I mean, we're ahead on board, and it's, and it's probably constricting their ability to play things, so... Eventually, we'll draw Krasis and win the game. And if we have to cast Angrath, we will. Man, lucky you, Power. We do have four Krasis in our deck. And other spells, too, so... Chamberlain does do damage to Planeswalkers, yes. Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang. Wow, minus. Interesting. Okay. Shiv and fire. Okay.
Alright, it's time. They have enough land now where we're not... We're not stopping them from playing anything to hold up the counter spell, so... We're gonna start here, though. It was it was a contempt, not a counter spell. That's fine. No fire, no steel. We were correcting that their card answered our planeswalker just was a contempt, not a counter spell. Bell haunt, sure. All right, now it's time for us to draw Krasis. or that. I'm not thrilled about this. Like, if you draw like a Lyra or something, it's, it's pretty bad, but we are at 13. It doesn't validate our board pretty well. We have four Krasis in our deck. Four. How many? How many lights are there? There are four lights. I just don't get it. Three, sorry, there's three. I apologize, I lied to everyone. Um, Trend with the raid. What's up, Trend? Deck techs, yeah, uh, 10 bucks for a deck tech. This is so insane. Alright, uh, three, six, seven, eight, nine. Gucci gang, 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 Gucci gang. I don't care if they counter it, I'm gonna draw like a four cards off of it. Uh, three, six, seven, eight, nine. Draw four, gain four? Like, yeah, please. That was good. Got a lava coil for this Sephiroth or whatever. Ah, oh, whatever. Still. Probably holding that for a while because our hands been empty for a while. I don't think I block. Now we just swing back and they have to block and death touch. Hello. There is some small amount of justice in the world. Alright, um... On the draw... I think I want to cut two war boss and bring in a Karn. And... Maybe the Lantern. Eh. I think three war boss is fine. Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang. You folks doing welcome to the stream. My name is Davis. Welcome. How's it going? We're playing some standard. We're playing a really, really wacky, um, uh, what's it called? Chain Whirler status, crisis, four color, wacko deck. And uh, played a lot, lot, of, lot of new standard decks today so far. I have a lot of fun. If you missed any of those, they'll all be up in the YouTube. If you haven't followed the stream, hit that follow button. Of course, watching on YouTube, make sure you follow on there. 
Don't forget to check out my, my Twitter for updates on my videos and when I'm streaming and all sorts of stuff like that. New header photo. Pretty sweet, right? Check it out. Twitter, at Jim Davis MTG. Just passed 10,000 followers because you all are awesome. You can see right here, I posted all the decks I was playing right before I streamed. So you would have known that A, I was streaming, and B, every deck I was playing and uh, been involved. All right? So, yeah. Also, I was on the uh, podcast for Cedric Phillips for deep analysis. Check that out, too. Twitter. Same point, right? Favorite deck so far? Probably this one. Sure. Nice mana base. Gucci Gang, Gucci Gang, Gucci Gang, Gucci Gang. Why is that so catchy? It's just the same word over and over and over again. Like 45 times. Gucci Gang, Gucci Gang, Gucci Gang, Gucci Gang, Gucci Gang, Gucci Gang, Gucci Gang. I was the most handsome player in Indianapolis. Why, thank you for noticing, my friend. I appreciate that. Is main deck duress? All right. This is game one. This is a new match, right? This is game three? I don't know what's going on anymore. It took so long. This is game three, isn't it? I'm not paying attention. They took a lava coil? Hmm. Their break took so long, I did my spiels. So I thought I was playing a new match. Yeah, Ross, you're right here and not nearly as attractive as I am. Oh my god, this is gross. Truth hurts. That's a fine draw, at least. What I play in Indy and why? Answers now. I play Jun Chain Whirler. There's a, a deck tech on my on my Twitter. There's an a video up on CoolStuffInc.com. Me playing it. A lot of info out there on the interwebs. So I gotta get on there and follow the social media stuff so you see all these cool things. Thank you. Vigilance. Moist Jund is here. The problem is that they have a counter spell. They can just sit back and never do anything for a while. That's probably what they're going to do. Lava Coil. Hello. They probably have a counter, but I'm casting it, so. Negate. Moist Jund. The moistest of Junds. Mortify targeting their own creature. That is a legal play. They have turned their Mortify into half a Lingering Souls. Thankfully, I'm playing Chain Roller in my deck, so... <laughs> if you say Moist Jund to anyone who doesn't play Magic, you will be arrested on the spot. Agree. Midnight Haunting is the correct card, yes. What are you testing out tonight, Russ? Uh, Skryskis? Ross, please take a video of that. Bartender, all of the moist jun, please. Right, we're 14, I'll keep this. We're not really under a major clock here, so it's just keep grinding away. Got plenty of time. Big pop! Snap follows for Moist Jund. I like it. 
What's up, Big Pop? Thanks for following. If you haven't followed us, hit that follow button, of course, for more moist jund action. Negate, you got it. Why does it always show me my lap in the library? They know some of the cards in our end. They know they know, they know most of the cards in our end. Yes, they them being them willing to turn their mortify into a midnight haunting definitely speaks volumes about the the threat density of their hand being pretty low. DJ, new sub. What's your name? Where are you from? Welcome, my friend. You don't follow Moist Jund. Moist Jund follows you. Hello. Smart card. Moist Jund, MTG themed ska band. Man, chat's on fire today. You guys are doing great. Is my chair broken? Wouldn't it be cool if my chair just collapsed and I just fell to the floor? That'd be pretty cool. Um. Yeah, I was a chain whirler. Like. They're clearly not playing much, and this cleans up the board and makes them do proactive things. They probably can't counter this because their counter spells usually negate and stroke. Just kill. Let's just kill their board. We have plenty of kill spells in our hand for bigger things. Um, just get this thing going. We're drawing cards. We're killing stuff. Sure. What a thought. Bet your thought. Super thought. Bye you. To rest again, sure. Thankfully, all of our cards are in play in the form of treasure tokens. Let's start with a treasure. What's up, B? Uh, weekend was all right. Um, obviously, when you start seven zero, you want to top eight the tournament. I did not top eight the tournament, so I was pretty sad. But I think it was good. Full house. I mean, we do have Krasis in our deck. This is why I like Krasis in this deck, because, like, we have a lot of removal and a lot of mana, so we just draw Krasis eventually and win the game, you know? Alright. Sure. Finding its mono rib. Yes, I clowned young Austin Collins with my status combos. I, I killed many, many things. Gotta keep these kids in line, you know. Ooh. Hello, what have we here? Moist Jund, eh? Quads. Sure. Keep making excellent content. I'll keep coming back. YouTube time traveler reporting in. You're from the future? What year is it? Disco, thanks for uh, thanks for coming back, my friend. I appreciate it. Love those resubs. Only the better than a new sub is a returning sub. I didn't set my stop. We're good. I think we should play this chain. Right, we, we, right, we draw a card and we probably, probably the discard. I'm just going to play this chain whirler and they're going to kill it and whatever. We got we got a really full house here. I don't think we need to kill everything. We have seven removal spells in our hands, so we can just kill things one at a time if we have to, you know?
Who's going to SG Baltimore this weekend? Raise your hand in chat. Eldest Reborn? Sure. What's up, Jasmine? Welcome. Moist Jund. Right, so draw three cards this turn. That's one. I want to see more hands in chat. So now we got two trips, pair of trips. Imagine if we lost this game. Eleven more chain whirlers. That's right. We got these shocks here. It's probably dying. We're right now they're deciding if they want to contempt it or not. They're like, should I contempt this? No, it's mortify. All right. Sweet, Jasmine. Awesome. Welcome back to the game. Um. All right. In damage. <laughs> this is actually unreal. Um. I guess we discard Rootbound, Craig. How many Krasis in our deck? We just never draw Krasis. It's pretty funny. Thought Erasure. It's all yours. It's all yours. I could have drawn on their turn, but I want to draw spells and cast them, you know? I could have shocked them also, but I think we're fine with lands. We don't need any more lands, all right? We're fine. It's ridiculous game state. It's just unreal. How many cards in our deck? We've been through half our deck. We've drawn one Krasis, one Angrath. Imagine if we lose this game. Yeah, I could restart Arena, but, you know, we're doing videos and stuff, and it's, it's just too much of an interruption. It's not that bad yet. Want to draw that next crisis? It's going to be big. Yeah, we'll hold on to that. That's too greedy. We're not playing a naked, naked Eldest Reborn. Naked. Sixteen more chain whirlers. That's true. That's true. Elder Reborn counts as a Chain Whirler. Sephiroth of the Scale. That's kind of annoying. Um, the card's pretty good against our hand, but we'll draw Lava Coil. Let's see what they do here. We're gonna cast Elders Reborn. They might just counter it. They have a bunch of bunch of cards in their hand, and if they do, I don't really care. So, and then we'll decide what we're gonna do with this Sephiroth of Scales. Um, might Shiv and fire it. It's an interesting tap.
I'm gonna hold this last land. Want to shiv and fire first? It's not a exile effect. That's you're thinking. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Imagine being in a top deck war and not having crisis in your deck. Just both of a both of a million lands in play, like. Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang. Lyra, Dawn, Bringer. Oh, they have to have a lot of counter spells to make this work. So. Hmm. I think I would rather keep this status. Or they just use my shocks effects. Well, let's cast Shiv and Fire Kick and see what they do. More Shivan Fires. You discard a card. They discard a Thief of Sanity. That's pretty funny. What well, I want to get back with this Eldest Reborn. I'll be Angrath, right? Oh, they, they said they have Lyra, right? Is there any card that's that's, that's good against the uh, get against the Brass Contempt? Not really, right? Nah. Sephiroth seems okay. Thief seems really fun. Maybe not the best choice, but it is pretty fun. I would consider going for a Thief. They show us Moment of Craving. Was that was that this match? Yeah, they did. Yeah, they have, they have a possible Moment too. So I do like Thief. That is true. Thief is fun. I'm a pretty big fan of Thief. Hoogster! Jeff, thank you, my friend. I appreciate it. Big host from Jeff Hoogland. Appreciate that very, very much, my friend. If you haven't seen Jeff's channel, and I'm sure you have, but if you haven't, go check it out. Jeff's great. He's putting in so much work over the last year or two, and it's paying off big time. Really happy to see his success. Mortify. All right. That's fine. If you're just tuning in, welcome. We are playing what we have affectionately referred to as... Moist Jund. Yeah, we said it. Four color chain roller status crisis. Not that you'd ever know it because we never draw a crisis, but I got a feeling this is the turn. See? It's as easy as that. Are we going to deck here? Jeff, thanks, my friend. Send a little luck over our way, too. Host magic. Oh, oh, it's magic! You know! Alright. Uh. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. We've been waiting a long time for that one. That's gross. Waiting a long time for that one, so. There it is. Quench? That's fine. We got more. Once you draw once you draw one, you draw all of them, you know? Sure. Opponent wants to keep playing. Like 25 lands, I think. Flample. Alright, we are not gonna play this next crisis. We're just gonna play a war boss. And attack and play a Karn and play some other stuff. Our hand's pretty full, obviously. Alright, they go to... Very close to dead. Not quite, though. Oh, Arena, come on. All of you are showing up and you start chugging. We have lethal. Oh, they could have plus status. I mean... They could have something. I don't know, whatever. 
Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang. Gucci. Why would I ever want to stop playing this game? Now I can play Krasis next turn, because they're still alive. You know? Why stop playing? We're having a great time. You know? Why win when you can draw more cards? But yes, Jeff, thanks again for the host, my friend. I appreciate it. Hope you had a good stream. And uh, we are currently 2-1. and one. I'd like to see the deck we're playing with. It is uh, Moist Jund. You know, hold on. Let's fix this. Moist Jund. It is a version of the deck I played to a 31st place finish in SCG Indianapolis last weekend. That was a, a Jund Chain Whirler status deck. I decided I didn't really like the Dragons or the Phoenixes that much. So let's play Hydra Crisis. Everyone else is playing it, right? So um, there it is. This is the deck. Get a few blue sideboard cards, four Crisis. Chain War status combo, Angrat's Metal. That's the deal. That's what we're doing. So let's keep rolling here. Playing best of three. Getting ready for SCG um, 31st out of 38. Not quite. Play, getting ready for SCG Baltimore this weekend coming up. More new standard. I'm teaming with my team BCW teammates, uh, Ross, Merriam, and Tan and Grace. I am playing standard. Ross is playing modern. Tan is playing legacy. And, uh, yeah, that's a good, nice mana base. Is it Guildgate? Don't think our deck is very good against the Gates deck, unfortunately. Uh, we got a cyborg. But if you can find a war boss, it's good. Yeah, those idiots in chat. I want to sit in the B seat where a shirt says, I'm with stupids, and have two arrows pointing that way. That's what I want. And my axe. That was Fellowship, Ross. I watched Two Towers last night. Yes, the, the cool thing about Statue is, it is very good against a variety of things. Obviously, we have the status combo, which is great, but it can also just kill enchantments, kill Lyras, kill big creatures, etc., etc. Alright, uh, that is a, a ram. We're going to double shock this ram. <laughs> Thanks for following, everyone. Appreciate it. Uh, that's fine. We can't activate it, so playing map doesn't even do anything. Usually you want, you want to map ASAP because you want to get your counters on as fast as possible, but we can't activate it this turn, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, we're just going <laughs> to... As for mid-range, I think that deck's pretty medium. I, like, I don't like Dovin. doesn't have any one-drops. It's like, okay. I'm not a big fan. I don't need that. Melvin. Shock over cast down? I mean, we can't. Our mana base isn't that good. You know, we're not just casting every spell whenever we want. We only have so many black sources in our deck. So. Did Ross tell him about the new deck that he's playing? Well, we're playing different formats, so I don't really care what he's playing. But I'm sure if he had a cool new deck, he wouldn't tell me about it. Sox, thanks, my friend. Yeah, I was on Cedric's, Cedric's podcast. Cedric does a podcast. It's pretty cool. Um, I forgot the name of it. I think it's called Deep Analysis, maybe? Something or other. But uh, he basically just does a few live interviews on the spot at tournaments. And uh, here, it's on my, on my Twitter. It was... Yep, deep analysis. Check it out. Uh, me, Rossum, and um, and Andrew can't say his last name. Pro Tour champ, though. Don't know when you'll be able to play modern, but I miss seeing you play Just Guy. Thanks, Nooner. Check it out. Pretty cool podcast. Holy crap, dude! Karn's pretty nice. Uh, I'm gonna keep that one. Karn's actually a threat because of our our maps. So we're gonna draw. When I said I'm not going to try and say it, I'm, I'm not going to try and say it. We've played before. He's a good magic player and a good dude, but I can't pronounce his name properly. I don't want to say it wrong. Right, we're making threats here, for sure. Evil cannot withstand a righteous Demanding dragon? That card stinks. 
I was playing Phoenix and the Hellkite and the New Dragon, but they just weren't great, honestly. Who's winning the Super Bowl? Hopefully not Tom Grady. Gate Colossus. Sure. That's fine. Alright, so... Money! A third map? That's not necessary. Alright, then we're gonna... It's worth one treasure to get this thing online one turn sooner. Lava Coil? It's also not gonna do it. Alright, so... Untap. That plays. It plays. We're not there yet, but it definitely plays. I was a Todd Gurley owner in the fantasy season, so I'm a Todd Gurley fan. Want to activate map on one on your end step and transform both on your turn. Well, Ross, that's why you're sitting next to me this tournament. Alright? You're right, I'm wrong. You're smart, I'm dumb. Your beard is attractive. I can't grow a beard because I'm weak and feeble. Etc. Alright, so... Now what? Karn, taking the brown town. Oh no, I can't grow. I can't. I can't grow a beard. It nothing comes in over here. It's all spotty. I used to play roller hockey for the the Stony Brook University club team. We we did a a Movember, like charity thing once. So I had to grow. I had to grow a mustache. Oh, it was bad. It was bad. My girlfriend at the time was like ready to just disown me. It was really really bad. I had this little like like fourteen year old's mustache. Ugh. All right, so they're playing Gates. We want Eldest Reborn. What do we not want? All these terrible shocks. I guess Lava Coil's bad too, right? Lava Coil might kill a sheep in the early, early game, but that's pretty hard. Uh, what does Karn? Stroke is good. And the rest is, I guess. And maybe I keep in like two lava coils. Cinder vines is okay too. Grubbin Smith down, sweet. Yeah, I'm from I'm from Eastern Long Island. Um Hmm. I guess Cinder Vines is good. Maybe I don't want all these dresses. Yeah, like three dress is good. Eh, four seems pretty good. Maybe we cut like. We send I'll bring two of these. Yeah, sure, let's do that. It's bad news about Burnsy, unfortunately. Rest in peace, Burnsy. We miss you, bud. I miss having Burnsy sit in my lap while I write my articles. He used to hang out with me and just chill. Another uh, another sample hand for the ages. Um, I mean, we draw a black source. This hand is great. Or map. I'm gonna keep it. Or the draw. Get a little faith, you know. Wrong one. Yeah, Spurns, he passed away, unfortunately. He had a tumor. We got him surgery. But he his body just couldn't take the surgery. He was he was older for a gerbil. He was like two 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 plus years old. Which is like sixty ish, you know, in, in gerbil years. Oh come on. Um and uh he just his body just couldn't take the surgery. He passed out a few days later. Passed out. He passed away a few days later. Jeez. Angrav's good against the RAM at least. <gasps> Source. We did it. Sweet. Three lands. 
Guild Summit. Let's go. Now the question is, do we want to duress them again? I don't think so. I mean, like, yeah, we gotta resolve this and grab next turn or we're dead. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just cast it. No. All right, that's fine. If they had drawn a gate in that one turn window, we lose the game instantly, so we might as well just cast the duress then. That's unreal. All right. Just wait longer. Unfortunately, the puppy challenge is on is on on hold. Uh, we're not moving at present, so there's no place for a puppy. But current sub count is 615. Once we have a place to live, then uh, place to live where we can have a puppy. We're not homeless. Um, then. Uh, That'll happen, but... Where my Cinder Baron's at? Guild Summit's so good. Oh my god. Not quite on time. No fire. Sean McBizzle, new sub. What's your name? Where you from? Welcome, my friend. Correct. All regent, you are correct. I and I knew that going to the tournament. I played one Cinder Barons. Should have racked those guild guild gate. I didn't have one, and. In the Gunslinging BCW Challenge event, I actually did um, Angrath someone's Ram. I didn't have the Cinder Barons in play, though. Um, but yeah, it, it could have been relevant. No fire, no steel. Okay, so here's the plan. We're going to... Chain Whirler, kill the Colossus, and try and set up a turn where we threaten it after they buy it back and draw it. Cool? Cool. That's our plan. So, what's full control? Correct, they draw it next turn. We want them to draw it next turn. Because we're going to Angrath it and kill them. Although it is face up on the board. So, that sucks. Hopefully they play two. Well, they have a, they have a Plaza Harmony? No, okay. No. Well, they. I guess it auto stacked for them so they couldn't stack it right. That's awkward. That's really annoying. Because they might have just cast it. Now they're mad because they couldn't stack it right, but I mean, I mean Angrath's literally in play, so. You want to play a gate over a Cinder Baron, so if you Angrath, it's steal a Gatekeeper Ram, it's bigger than a 2-2. A two -two. Take all sail for high and dry. Wait, they have, they have a, they have a, oh god, yes. Angrath. Let's go. Oh, it's not 10. Why do I think it was 10? Ah, crap. I forgot the two damage from the previous one mattered. Alright, we're dead. That sucks. I was so excited. 
I was so excited. I forgot we needed the extra two damage from the uh, the previous Angrath. Now we are basically dead. Whatever. They are definitely not dead on board. All right, so yeah, we we just can't wait. All right, whatever. I got excited. And now, now we just can't win. Now just, they just like, they can kill us if they have anything, and we can't deal five damage. We can't steal it again. <sighs> Touchdown dance, down by nine with three seconds to play. In the end zone. Tilt. Tilt, tilt, tilt. All right, Angrass, you only have two. We have no outs. Almost assuredly dead. They have a full seven guards in hand. They're drawing two guards a turn. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we had to block or we were dead. <laughs> Being dumb is funny. The stream is much better because I'm dumb. If I was just smart all the time, it'd be really boring. All right. Um, I want this sin, this third cinder vines. Let's cut. Um, let's cut the lantern. Yeah, we'll just we'll just draw our colors. I don't. I don't know if the the the, uh, the lantern's even necessary. You know. Sean, what's up, my friends? YouTube watcher, watching all the time. Great, appreciate that. Eugene from Oregon, Morphling favorite card, old school, playing since '95. Favorite deck, Survival Living Death, pre Ursus Destiny. Let's be, let's be, let's be clear about this. Sean, thanks, my friend. I appreciate it. Holy God, look at this hand. We can't keep this. Draw a land, we have like Cinder Vines into Chain Whirler. If this Chain Whirler was a Legion War boss, I could see maybe keeping it, but I I don't know if we can keep this hand. We gotta make multiple land drops. Cinder Vines is not that good. I'm gonna mulligan. Alright, I mean it's a little a little worse if a scry at least. They mulligan to six also. Oh god, go away. Alright. Alright. This is a very, very similar hand, but we got to scry, so. That was really... Yeah, that was really, really good. Now we scry into a land, play Cinder Vines. Welcome aboard. Bad tap. Go to rest. Land! They see mana screw. They didn't play a gate on turn two, and they have no green mana, so. Played dinosaurs already. 18 land dinosaurs. It was amusing. You missed it, it'll be up on YouTube. Make sure you follow the YouTube. Alright, now they have green. That kind of sucks. Oh, that was a bad tap, actually. God damn it. God, what is going on? <sighs> yeah, we're screwed. <sighs> so much enchantment removal in our hand. Alright, 
I mean, now we're in like reasonable shape. We have some mana at least. We can get Angrath online. They play a creature. We can Eldritch Reborn it. We got some stuff going on now at least. So. Why is everyone broing in chat? Meh. <laughs> Isn't Arena great? Sound effects and stuff. Bro. Don't you negate me, I swear. They have negate. God damn it. No, they don't. Sweet. Bruh. Zodiac Brave, new sub. What's your name? Where you from? Welcome, my friend. Spiraling. Growth Spiral. New sub is Trevor from Ontario, Canada. Favorite hockey team? Ooh, boy. Alright. Feels like they're mostly out of gas, which is good. If they have a crisis, we're in trouble. Mitch from the movie Waiting? Nope. No idea. That is a lot of statues. No fire. No statues. Go to land. Go Meeple Leafs. You, got, you just got Muzzin in a trade, right? That was a good draw. Thanks for following everyone. Y'all great. No Cinder Vines. It's not worth the treasure. Gates of Blaze. You got it. Super dead. And they kept the card in their hand. What could it possibly be? No fire, no steel. And a gate. That makes sense. Makes sense. Ever thought about buying two arms before playing magic? You're bad. What? No, Doesn't even make sense. Alright, uh Cinder V. Chain Whirly Boy. Nah, two Angrath is enough. You don't want to draw so many Angraths. It's very tempting, but when you're behind, Angrath isn't great, so... Thanks for following, everyone. Oh, God! I can't play magic. I have no arms. I don't get it. I gotta buy some arms. Well, that was a good draw. Uh, they drew Explosion. Best actual draw, but okay. Touche. Touche. Um... We're probably in trouble, but one, two, three, four, five, six. They do have ten gates in play and didn't play a, a ten ten, so that's not bad. What is that? Give me sugar and water. What about their legs? They don't need their legs. I could I couldn't kill them. All right, never mind. I have plus three, plus three in my hand, but not plus plus six, plus six. All right, this is for four. They have an angel. We got a long road ahead of us. Oh man. That sucks. Gay Colossus, sure. Guild Summit. Take one. Just don't draw the angel. I think we're fine. Meets back on the menu, boys. As I've said a few times, Nicole and I watched Two Towers last night. 
Haven't watched Lord of the Rings in a while. Bird! They have many cards in their hand. I'm not sure what they can have that can kill a Krasis. Honestly. What's... What's... Teacher's Precious? The scene between Gollum and Sam when they're cooking and he's talking about potatoes is the funniest scene ever. It's just... Gollum just whining about Sam ruining the food. And Sam's just pissed off because Gollum doesn't know what a potato is. Hey, they're dead. Cool. You are dead. I hate to tell you that. They're just like dead like on board. Potatoes. Boil them. Mash them. Put them in a stew. I should have probably stat status In case they have some way to like disenchant their own enchantment or something. But they don't, so whatever. I have arms. Filthy baggins. Angrath. Stupid fat hobbit. If I have more water, I can do the golem voice pretty good, but I'm out of water. Squid Squad, nine months, the baby, what's it do? Name our baby, Squid Squad. It's a sub baby. Angrath metal. They're taking the hobbits to Isengard. Healer's Hawk. Oh boy, we got some stuff for Healer's Hawk here. What's up, Luna? Would you like to discard to Berserk? God damn it, I bought him the blue source. Alright. And Grunt? It's a little metal and definitely angry. I love it, Squid Squad. I love our child together. Okay. Definitely coiling. My stream view record? I've cracked 2,000 before. It's over 2,000! Got a great crowd today, though. Happy everyone's hanging out. Again, big thanks, Jeff, for the host. Dollar's bodyguard is fine. We just kill it. I guess it comes in tap because I've overgrown too, but that's fine. We didn't really need it anyway. Angrath, show him metal face. No, no, no. Angrath, show your metal face. No. Okay. I mean, this is fine. We're nine. Let's play War Boss, blocks their stuff anyway. We get a free token. This is all pretty reasonable. We go into Melt later. Uh, I love the Parma Italy. Um, I like the lasagna one also. Uh, the Dude Abides is like the, the mashed potatoes one, right? That one's pretty good too. Um, I would take a land. Just any untapped land next turn. Let's play a 4 4 Krasis. I'd be pretty happy. Eastern Long Island. Alright. It's a little painful, but I'll take it. Hold on. 
Let's attack first. Yes, Chain War would obviously be very good. I'm trying to not be too greedy here, you know? This creature must attack if able! Can block and pay for life? No? That's an insane trade for us. We're at 6 and they're at 27 and they're trading tokens? Awesome. I'd have paid 4 life there for sure. Alright, well. Crisis. Draw 2. Hello, Whirly Boy. Uh, this deck is not in my stream title, no. This is a deck that I brewed up. I'll change stream title. If I can type. History of Benalia. Um... Let's see. Let me just play it. Actually, just like a, a straight up whirl here, whirler here. Let's uh, let's attack with our token. The block with the the knight. Then we'll chain whirler and kill it. No, now now they're blocking Vanguard. All right, sure. Why would they do this now? We just want to make sure we don't die to heroic reinforcements. That's our goal. So. We have status combo for next turn. We have map going. Everything's good. They're paying four life to kill my creature when they're at 26, 26, 27. It's fine. That's a, they, should, they should have done it last turn. It was weird they didn't do it last turn, honestly. Stop assuming everyone's stream sniping. They just made a bad play. They made a bad play last turn, and they fixed it this turn. If they were stream sniping, they would know to concede by now. Yes, that is, that is true. That is definitely true. I think I want this, actually. Uh, full control. No, full control. No! Ah, uh, thank God. It turned off for some reason, but we got it. Paid for okay. Um, combat. So I'm gonna everything, and I'm sorry. I'll leave one back and mentor the other one. There's there's no point in attacking with the other one. One. Yep. Take a whole bunch. Even if they draw reinforcements, we're not dead. We have two blockers, a removal spell. They're at nine. Life is good. They're dead. They're dead. They're dead. They're dead. They're dead. They're dead. Dead, 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 dead. <laughs> Moist Jund. Alright. Um, don't have a lot for the white decks. I'm not going to be not gonna lie. Um... Fizzy Elf, new sub. What's your name? Where are you from? Welcome. We want to cut. I mean, Lantern for Karn. Karn's like okay. Elders Reborn's really bad. I guess Karn's better than. I mean, we don't have much for, for white decks. Yeah, Krasis is great. No doubt, Krasis is fantastic. Why is my sideboard on fire?
No, fountain is not what you want here. Fountain is only for lava spikes. The rest, no. Cinder Vines is okay, but killing a Saga is not good. They already have a 2-2. Two -two. Like, it's just, a, it's just a bad two for one. They're not going to bring in Settle. I want them to bring in Settle. Settle's terrible against me. Duress, we don't we can't guarantee we're gonna cast duress early. Folks, our mana base is not like <sighs> Sultai Crasis is quite good. People will figure it out. Give me sugar. We're not there yet. It's week one. Sultai Crasis was the easiest week one deck. Just add one of the best cards in the set to one of the best decks in the old format. It's pretty standard week one deck building. Yeah, this hand's great. It's, we're soft to a Dondo Vanguard. We can't really change that. It is what it is. Leona Vanguard, not so bad. Let's um, don't play a Dondo Vanguard. Without Phoenix and Dragon, it is a little harder to turn the corner against these decks when they have their Adanto Vanguard draws. Oh god, give me a Chain Whirler. Yeah, this is fine. Let's play this Sego. I'm gonna kill the Vanguard. I mean, Esper Control took two top eight slots in Indy. I don't know how. I don't know how they beat all the Crisis decks, honestly. Yeah, history's good. This is not ideal, but let's keep them off landing. Bide our time a little bit here. We have one mountain in our deck. Yeah, I'll be in Baltimore. Where are you going to be, Boot? Nicole and John are coming, too. That is not a Chain Whirler. This is a really, really sad Lava Coil. Oh, it's not good against Bant. Crisis is not, it's not good against the Fog decks. But against the Control decks that don't actually kill you, like, they just have forever to just keep playing Crisis. Draw more cards, play Crisis, draw more cards, etc., etc. Saddle is just not very good in the format right now. This is pretty gross. Um... Three, four, five, six. They have literally anything we're dead. We could make a Karn token and then use the pump spell to pump it <laughs> and then save it for next turn. Yeah, that's all we're going to do. It feels pretty bad, but. Kill a Caterpillar. Ritual of Soot? Because you can't cast double black cards. You need to draw a Chain Roller, you know? That's all we need. iPod, all the cards you see in play right now are available in paper also. Okay. That's fine. Now, Rainbow Ledge is not my thing. That's Ali and thing. Probably the worst status I've cast playing any of these decks, but... God 
damn it, Dante Vanguards. Um, we can kill two things here. So top card's got to be Chain Whirler, Chain Whirler, or we're probably in trouble. What's up, Wizard? Wizard! We make, a, we make a second token. We just take three from the stupid... Crap, I think I should make it... That's actually fine. Hold on. Let's make a second token. Now you have two two twos. And we can just kill Healer's Hawk, kill the other token, take three and go to one. I still have two two twos in play. No reinforcements, it's good for us. We're not dead, what are you guys talking about? You guys need to relax more, you know? <gasps> Hello! <laughs> Wonder what card we're getting. I guess it doesn't even matter anymore, but... Alright, well, here. I have a... 5-5 five, five crisis. Not the best, but it's fine. Heh! Alright, touche. Touche. I guess it, 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 it kills both. Alright, that's fun. Need more Krasis. Danto Vanguard eating us alive. Where's Angrath? God, these lands. What the hell? We're at three? Ugh. Alright. Well, Whirler can't block indefinitely. He just dies to the Vanguard, but... We'll go to two here. With a million mana in play. Mitch Photon! That's a smart attack. You can't say the word moist on television. Really? Alright. Need a crisis. Or treasure map. Alright. Well, that sucks. We bricked off, like, really, really hard. Um, I don't have to tell you, we bricked. We lost. We just bricked off. We're dead. Okay. Um, I'm a little more interested in Cinder Vines now that I saw Baffling End. So they have Baffling End, History, Possible Conclave Tribunal. Uh, Elder Reborn is not good against their tokens, so. Can't get Krasis. Carnal only gets Silver cards. I actually don't mind cutting a map in this matchup. Nah, I don't want to do that. 
on the play. Warboss is pretty good in the play. I'm bringing one. We already have four. We already have four status to enter to answer frenzy if they have it. So I'm not like super scared of frenzy. <sighs> Come on. Very frustrating. Bad matchups. I mean, I lost to a, a Grixis deck. The the, the mid red mid range decks can't beat Grixis ever. Grixis is not particularly good, but it's really good against the red mid range. And we have the combo, so. Pestilence Spirit? Why? This is too good. I can't not play Chain Roller here. Needs to turn off landing too. And the landing's still there, but... Chain Roller number two, please. That's actually not bad at all. Free token. We have good blocks for their, uh, they want to attack for landing. Still have good blocks. Draw a black source for status, that's great. That's really aggressive. All right. Okay. Killed that thing. Black land. Oh my god. Come on. Please block with the thingy. No blocks at all? Ugh. Yeah, I should have the bodyguard. I screwed up. If I had two green sources, if I could just cast both these status. Doesn't even matter. Alright, that's fine. Oh, come on. This is unreal.
Can't cast it, everyone. Cat's the worst. Yeah. We should draw a Chain Whirler. That'd be cool. Staunchly refusing to uh, make any blocks. All right. Well, we'll just draw a chain roller, but it'll all be fine. Got two looks at it. Nope. Ah, uh, never mind. We can't. We have to just draw. We don't have enough mana to do the whole thing. All right. Yeah, two looks at it, right? So that's what I meant. You know, sometimes you just uh, you just do things. I hope it's enough to actually win. It's still have a lot of big draws here. And Indestructible Vanguard. Can't even do the thing yet. Are they dead? They just killed himself? They might have just killed himself. They got an eight? Yeah, they're dead. Right? Hold on. Two, four, six, eight. Now they go to one. Alright. Um, so what do we attack with? Attack with most things. This has to attack. I don't want to die to a heroic reinforcements. But I also want to put lethal on them. They block one thing for free, it takes five here. And then next turn we attack for a bajillion. We have two blockers for reinforcements. They have a knight too though. Ugh. Alright, we gotta leave back uh this one. Nope. This one. So 
they go to four, and we have a bajillion attackers next turn, and a plus one plus one effect too. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, I didn't I didn't kill it end of main phase. I killed it in their attack step. Totally true. Totally true. Now they're dead. Right? Let's have a one drop here too, which would be sick. About that. Block with the first strike of H doesn't I sure. I guess that's fine too. They're dead. They're dead. They're dead anyway, it didn't matter. Four and one. That was the game magic we just played. Damn. Had multiple called shots this stream. This this video even. This league. We lucky. Memphis? What's in Memphis? Let's go first, Moist Jund. That's a keep. You always keep the map hands. That was something loosely resembling a game of magic. Listen, having powerful combos in your deck is a really good thing, you know? Alright, Breeding Pool. One Moist Chain Whirler coming up. All right, we got our Shocks and our Lava Coils. Hopefully they're playing a... All right, they're playing a creature deck. This is super awkward because if we scry and don't find a land and they play a Jade Light next turn, this walker is going to get pretty big. But if we miss a land drop, it's going to be pretty hard to win also. Um, I'm just going to scry. Two shots at a land. Come on, let's go. That's one. Draw land. Unreal. Give me sugar. Alright, just branch walker, thank God. We still need to draw land. And we're gonna scry again, because we can't if we can't miss this many land drops and then actually win the game, so. Angrath is also a prize later on. Angrath is an answer later, so. Need lands. That's not a land. That's. Alright, whatever. <laughs> okay. I, I guess. Yeah, we suck. Land? What the hell? Holy crap, dude. I agree. Holy crap, dude. Feels bad. Wasting a treasure there sucks. Wow, no explore creatures? Alright. We got a game magic going on here. And Dragon Skull Summit. Okay. They almost assuredly have removal in their hand. Because um, what else could they possibly have? They didn't play a land last turn. They didn't play any creatures. They didn't play any planeswalkers. 
their hands Krasis and reactive cards, so War Boss is out. Um, map is reasonable. Angrath. Well, they can't cast Contempt. Angrath. Uh, Angrath's pretty good, actually. Yeah, we're going to Angrath. Bajan! Resub. Main deck negates. Welcome to Standard. Jim, let's get some DBLs going for next Dirty Kitty iteration. It's pretty hard to beat a, a beat a Planeswalker when you miss four land drops. Shooting treasure there is pretty ridiculous. <laughs> like, just just add to the board and keep pressuring your opponent. You know, one of these cards is crazy. We're in pretty big trouble. Adonis climb. That card's terrible. If all they have is Adonis climb, I feel like we have a chance to win this game. So. That's a magic card. Um, Hi, Super Nintendo Chalmers. Hmm. If their last card is nothing, I think we're actually in fine shape this game. Um, they don't have much going on, except for Veraska. We have a lot of cards in our hand. We're just obviously pretty short on mana. We Eldest Reborn. I think it's Eldest Reborn. Set up for a better Angrath next turn we draw land. Now they gotta sack their tapped walker if they want, don't want us to attack. Alright, cool. Right, this is all fine for me. If they want to kill the Eldest Reborn, it's fine too. I'll just angry at their Wildgrowth walker and attack it. You must be needing that. That's a problem. That is a magic card. Okay, we drew a land. Now we get to Angrath and kill Veraska. And we start to have a game. Ever seen water burn? You will. Your crew for mine. Oh, am I dead? Ah, uh, yeah, I'm dead. I don't realize that was a five. All right. I guess all those early turns I took a bunch of damage. Yeah, it's fine. All right, I'm just I'm stupid. Um, so we, we should have done. Should have done what? I don't think we had any outs then. We, we could we couldn't stop it. They they'll still have a six power flying creature no matter what. Yeah, we we couldn't really we couldn't really do anything. All right, whatever. <sighs> All right. Um, let's see. I like Eldest Reborn. I like War Boss. You don't need Lantern. I think I like Stroke. 
kind of. I should like to rest better than stroke. So you can, you can answer their their counter spells too. I don't really want to cut though. I guess cut some of their removal spells. Cut like two shocks. Shock can deal with planeswalkers though. Yeah, I think like, shock's actually better. I don't think I want four duress. Um. I think I buy three. We gotta kill. We still gotta kill her stuff, you know. I like Karn too. All right, we'll chill. We'll cut a lava coil too. Let's try this. You still gotta kill their explore creatures. Like you can't let them just beat the crap out of you. Like. Looks familiar. Yeah, War Boss is good. Deck tax, I could do it after this league. Ten bucks. We drew a land! We did it! Yay! We may jam War Boss if they have no play here. Or they to play. This is this is so much better that we can actually just scry and play a land and play a, a lava coil. Look how great this is. Hit a land. I gotta deal with the boss. We got some removal spells. We got a car. Got this thing about the flip. Shit. I. Uh, very annoying. Tried to set it. Didn't work. All right. Um. This feels like a counter spell of some kind. Let's um. Just attack. See what happens. I could status the war boss just to force it through. And then if they counter that, just play Karn. I like that, actually. Combat trick. Sweet. Okay, so that's fine. That's all fine. And now we play... Do we flip map and then play Karn, or just play Karn? It'll cost us one treasure. But we'll have extra mana next turn. And a card draw engine already online. Yeah, it's, it sells itself. If they have Spell Pierce, more power to them. Chain Whirler is... Eh, yeah, I'm not really interested in that. Trunk Crisis. If they have spell pierces, what are you gonna do? You know? Now, nah, do you make a token? Nah. We're gonna have tokens in play, let's draw cards. I mean. If they're in a name crisis, I guess that's annoying, but like we have plenty of other threats. I'm not super worried about it. There's just my Jund Chain Roller deck playing crisis. Moist Jund, as it were. They named Angrath. 
Metal. And Grath. So metal. Hello. A card they should have named. Melvin. Unmoored Ego is mildly defensible in a Krasis mirror, because Krasis is just literally that important. But they didn't even name Krasis, so bird. You got it. I like it. What did they tap their meta? They play land tapped? They have six lands tapped. What happened? Mm. Um. Okay. This seems like a reasonable spot to just duress Eldest Reborn. Start with the rest and see what's up, and we'll we'll go from there. Vivian, find Hydroid Crisis. They have one Merfolk Branchwalker in their graveyard, but I okay. Let's take find. We can use Eldest Reborn on, or we can just take Vivian and make a bigger flyer than them. Yeah, I like that better actually. Why can't I select the damn card? Holy crap, dude! All right, and let's just crank out a a crisis. We could shock this stupid thing too. What's what's attack? No oh, damn it! All right. Nothing is ever truly lost. So we got three six. It's all good, y'all. Tiger Woods, y'all. Because we're playing Krasis instead of Phoenix. Now, Reborn gets better. <laughs> Reborning a 3 3. We can, we can deal with this with our shock and stuff and our lava coil. We can re reborn something bigger. You gotta be greedy. You need a little no, greed in your life. Just wait longer. It looks like they boarded out their. They're one threes maybe, because they have less creatures. I'm inclined to put in the fourth duress and to uh what is wrong with Arena? Come on. What did I do? Lantern back in? Um Yeah, I think I like three duress. We're still on the draw, we still need to kill some things. Moist jund. <laughs> Take out Angrath. Well, they saw the crisis now, so. What was that? Did you see that? Their deck got all crisis-y. What does that mean? I wasn't the only person who saw that, right? Their deck definitely just got crisis-y. That was weird. Um... I don't necessarily want to duress on turn one, honestly. None of their spells come online until later. There's Walker. Right? Mm. 
Llanowar Elves? Llanowar Elves? Um, alright. I can't get a Shame Whirler, so that's kind of sucky. But, I guess I have a Duress. Come on, Arena! I gotta fix his memory leak. It's embarrassing. Alright, that's fine. Pretty much did its job. They have Vivian this turn, we're, we're in pretty big trouble. Maybe I should have cast the Duress earlier. Yeah, we're, we're, we're screwed. Oh, it's a Jade Light? Thank God. Another negate? They bend it. Assassin's Trophy. Alright, they, they obviously have another negate because they left this, left this Lionel Ralph up too. God, the tilt. Alright, um... I only have two cards left. Sure. That's great. We got our one basic out of our deck. I mean, we're pretty sure they have negate, and so I'm not going to play anything ever. I'm just going to say go, because I have all lands in my hand and one relevant spell. And then we'll try and double spell or draw a duress or something. Damn. <sighs> Alright, now I think we should have cast it. We can't cast two spells. If I draw Angrath or something else next turn, I need to uh, I need to be able to play it. So we'll just cast this and they'll counter it. We'll just play a land and we'll just hope to draw out of it. Like, we have many, many huge top decks. They have no cards in hand. I'm sure they'll draw Vivian right now, but... Yeah, Krasis would obviously be great. We never draw Krasis, though, so... Did you find... Get back, Llanowar Elf Jade Light Ranger? They're saying they drew another counterspell? Can you just draw a damn Krasis? draw Krasis, we only want to play a land off the Krasis. So they go Vivian, they draw a two drop. It's trouble. I've, I've lost so much already. I won't lose more. Hostage taker? Oh my god. Come on. Ah, you son of a bitch. Now we're getting started. Oh, so it's going to be like that, huh? You need to chill, Vivian. Alright. The wilds are my shield. Uh, Jolie, yeah. You should. This is unreal. It is a frustrating. We got some really lucky games, some really frustrating games. Balance comes.
Pretty lame. Pretty lame. Their hand was pretty good, and they drew out of the top deck war pretty good. Alright. What's our record now? Uh, four and two. Alright. What we got? Miscaller, Necrolist, and Ministrant of Obligation. So obligated. So that deck's amusing. I don't know, that's pretty fun. Um Not sure what I would actually do with it. Like the lantern probably is unnecessary. Um we can't play any more Crisis, we're already playing four, so... Definitely a deck that has, like, you know, a small amount of really important cards. Crisis, Scion, Angrath, Eldest Reborn, Chain Whirler, a lot of removal. Um, but yeah, I don't know, the deck's cool. Obviously, Vivian's very, very good. Uh, I think Vivian's one of the softer spots of this deck. I think this deck is good against the, the enemy Crisis decks for the most part, but Vivian is by far their best card against you by about six miles. Um, you know, we are a little soft to resolve Planeswalkers, so. But, um, yeah, I don't know, that deck's fun. Definitely amusing. I'll work on it some more. So, uh, you're watching on YouTube. Make sure you follow the channel, and make sure you uh, check out the stream once in a while, check out my other videos, and YouTube folks, I'll see you fine folks later. Thanks for watching.